and um, you got Wong out on ringside, and you're right. He's in there. He sees that these guys are outmatched. He is distracting the ref. He's grabbing the leg of Cull Obsidian. Oh, and you yeah, know what? He's, he's pulling out all the stops. <laughs> what were you going to say? I'm sorry. Well, we're about midway through the match, and they're working over Doctor Strange, obviously, because if somebody's getting the hot tag in this tag match, it's going to be Iron Man. And they're working over Doctor Strange, and Wong, once again, he comes in there. He's got Flames of the Faultine or some other spell. And uh, this time, he, he, he crosses him the wrong way and just Cull Obsidian just drops down, and he just decks him and throws him into the stairs, and he's out of the match. Like, no longer a factor. They're like, you know what? That's it. We're just, bam. They throw him into the stairs, and he's on the floor selling it for the rest of the match. And now Doctor Strange is taking it from Ebony Maw, and there's nobody left. He's cut off from his other te- from his partner. And uh, this is an experienced tag team. Yes, facing, facing two guys who are typically singles wrestlers, and the psychology there is usually the experienced tag team usually overcomes the two accomplished singles wrestlers that are forced to work together. And and that's happening here because. Let's say um, all of a sudden, like what? What I'm trying to think of, like what big signature move that uh, uh, Doctor Strange would do to like break the hold and 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 make it to the corner of Iron Man? Something like the the Seven Rings of Ragador, which would be I don't know um, a back body drop, a spinning back body drop, kind of like the Protoplex. Nice. I like now it. they're both on the ground and they're pounding the canvas trying to get him back to Iron Man's corner and then we're doing this classic style Iron Man gets that hot tag and then both guys enter the ring you know what I mean and he's like he's laying them both out he's got his you know his modular armor he's got all the moves he's got the clotheslines he's got the big boots um, he's firing up he's, he's, he's fired up he's, he's doing the forearms he's just just and and then of course because he's Triple H he's gonna have the the Arn Anderson rolling spine buster. <laughs> All right, I like it. Um, which he'll call the Unibeam. <laughs> like oh man, big time Unibeam by Iron Man. And and now he's like doing the muscle up pose. He's feeling it. He's he's shouting. He's jawing. Right. But Ma gets him from behind and does that invisible clothesline and throws. Doctor Strange out of the ring. Now Wong's down. Strange is down. It's two on one. There's nothing left. They're going to lose this match. Now, if I'm the booker back here, right, I'm talking with Iron Man and Doctor Strange. I was like, look, so you, you, you know, don't worry about the finish of this match. But you just got to make the Black Order look really strong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they, They're not going over, but you got to make the Black Order look really strong. And they're like, well, what are we going to do for the finish? You know what I mean? Are we really going to eat the pin from these guys? And they're like, no, because by the end of the match, Iron Man's down. He's out. All of a sudden, Spider-Man's music hits. Outside interference. Outside interference. And he's not going to sit there and wait. He runs to the ring. He climbs that top rope and does like a, 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 I don't know, a swanton bomb type thing. Oh, yeah. He's doing swantons and moonsaults and 619s. You know what? No, he doesn't even go to the top rope. He's got to be doing like a springboard. A springboard hurricane rana. There you go. He's doing springboard. (laughs) He's bouncing off the ropes. He's doing knee strikes. He's just he's just taking it to both these guys, right? And they just start ringing the bell, ding, ding, ding. They're like, "No, nah, this we're throwing this match out." And he's like, "Look, man, Iron Man was done for." And I think at this point, it would be sort of like an overeager baby face. You know how there's like sometimes a baby face who's like trying to get in with a tag team, and so he jumps in when they're like, "Oh man, we had that match." He's like, "No, man, you needed me. You need me on the Avengers. You need me to. I, I saved you." And they're like, no, yep. man, you cost us the match. You need to go back home. He's definitely the tryhard. <laughs> He's the tryhard. And bam, match gets thrown out, but but they put on a good show uh, at the MSG, or I don't know, maybe at the uh, Manhattan Center. They put on a really good show. 
the Black Order is in town and they're ready to 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 take out everybody. And then post match shenanigans after the Col Obsidian du- goes for his uh finisher, the uh the top rope big fist drop. Yes. And but I actually he falls out of-, of the ring and then they end up uh breaking his arm. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh Cull Obsidian or not Cull Obsidian, Ebony Maw and Doctor Strange they're there brawling back to the, you know, behind the curtain. The two of them are going at it and going at it. And they disappear behind the curtain because their story's not over. And Spider Man's just like, man, I'm just trying to help, trying to help. And he's getting like a dressing down from Iron Man. He's like, nah, man, you don't, we don't need you. You're not, you're not on the Avengers. You need to get back home and take care of your family. He's like, and, look, and- you go home. I'm going to go after my, my tag team partner. And, and bam, they're, that's, that's, you know, that's the main event of this of this of this local promotion. I was surprised by how easily that translated into a tag team match. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I um uh once we get a better flow, like I think we can uh I think we can have a, a really good time laying out these matches. I got to tell you, that's a match I really want to see. And here's something that's important to point out, right? So I've been attending MPX Wrestling over in Bedford. And I'm hoping to get out there on November 3rd. No, November 2nd. I don't know what it is. Because they're doing another Power Rangers theme night. Because that's what they do on Fridays. They do theme nights. You know what I mean? Nice. Power Rangers theme or uh, 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 Harry Potter theme. Uh, I went to a Star Wars themed one on May the 4th. And um, they're not the only one. Local promotions do that all the time. So, like, you could, I could easily, I mean, I imagine the costumes would not be that elaborate, but I could easily see someone trying to put on a match like this. Maybe not these particular characters, but a match like this in a local promotion. And it just sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Um, I love the idea for that ugly mashup theme song between entrance music for <laughs> Iron Man and Doctor Strange because you know that's exactly what it would be. It'd be this just these two songs that don't go together <laughs> just cutting in and out on one another. That would be that's uh, just disgusting. I <laughs> uh, just oh man. I I got I I definitely got a kick out of it myself. I'm like man I'd be <laughs> make myself laugh sometimes. Um I think that was good. I think we got I think we got uh, some some good stuff today. And um the uh and 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 like this is, it's it's easy with Marvel cuz the the Marvel stories especially something like Infinity War translates well to wrestling, but the more we do it, the better we're going to be into it. I think we got it. Like this is our third time doing it. I think we're getting closer to finding something that works. Um you know what we never discussed? What's Doctor Strange's finisher? Huh. You're you're a lot more savvy on all the uh the names of his spells than I am. The Crimson Bands of Sidorak, the Flames <laughs> of the Faultine. Um I don't want to go so easy as something like the Eye of Agamotto. Um the uh his finisher would be the Hori Host of Hogarth. <laughs> By the Hori Host of Hogarth, and that would be the call. Just like by the hoary house of Hogarth, that would be that would be his finisher. But what would the move be? He's got he's the techn- trained to chant it with him. Yes, um, but I don't think you can't call a move like that if it's a submission because it's going to be ongoing. So it's got to be a, a a single move, um, a throw or a strike or something. You know what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? I am thinking it's going to be something like Damien Sandow's uh, first finisher where he wraps the arms around the neck and then comes down for a neck breaker. Yeah. Like that, I think, would be Dr. Strange's finisher. It's a technical move, but you can throw it on quickly. You land it quickly, and he would roll out of it. You know what I mean? Um, Yeah, I think that would be, yeah, the hoary host of Hogarth, and he just, bam, he comes out of Cast him by the arms, wraps him across the neck, and then comes down on a neck breaker. Yeah, I could see that being. I could see that being his finisher. A good, good mix of uh, mystical showmanship with uh, technical prowess. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. 
I, I imagine he would be he Doctor Strange, much like the comic book character Doctor Strange, he would be the kind of wrestler that not everybody gets. You know what I mean? They're like, ah, I don't see what's so great about Doctor Strange. You know, he's, he's a he's a he's a Smarks wrestler. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Doctor Strange is a Smarks wrestler. Well, that was fun. Uh, good talking to you. And uh, and I'm I'm sticking with Wire. I just got to try to make sure not to put the the in front of it. But I'm sticking with Wire for now because I made a logo and uh, uh, I made a logo for this, and I don't want to make another one. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. Later days. Take it easy.